Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be starting my full lawn renovation. So back in late March, early April, uh, I did start to try and renovate my lawn. So the idea was I was gonna take a test patch, I was gonna master the skills of how to level a patch of grass and then apply that to the rest of the lawn. Now, a big problem I ran into was the fact that my lawn is sloped going up towards the back. This basically meant that I couldn't get a completely flat surface, so it was gonna be a bit of a pain trying to level it properly and sort of professionally as well, as professional as I could make it anyway at the time. Uh, and it just didn't really work. I was buying uh, bags of topsoil from B&Q, really sort of cheap bags of topsoil like that. It was full of stones, bits of wood, there was sticks in there. Uh, and not just little bits, it was, I mean, it was proper packed full of these things. And even the moisture levels as well. Some of the bags I was getting were really dry and were easy to work with. And then some other bags, and I've got a bag still in the garage. It's just completely saturated still. It's still full of moisture. So I just knew that wasn't going to work. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to take the time and effort to actually renovate it myself and do the entire lawn. Not a test patch, not doing little bits at a time, doing the entire thing. Now, what my aim is to do is I actually want to have a flat lawn. I want the, the grass that I have to be completely flat so that I can keep leveling it year on year to make sure I've got a really flat, smooth surface. Now, the only way I'm going to achieve this is by actually having levels in the garden, so having a lower tier and having a higher tier. The reason I can't bring the lawn completely flat is because we've got a retaining wall at the back. This retaining wall is holding the garden of the house behind us up. And the last thing I want to do is bring all this material down and sort of lose any structural integrity of that wall. Now, a disclaimer before I start, I am by no means an expert in any of this. I have never renovated a lawn before. I've never taken on a project this big and I can almost guarantee now that as I'm going, I'm not really gonna know 100% what I'm doing as I'm going. However, I imagine lots of people in the position I'm in now who wanna renovate the lawn, don't really wanna spend thousands of pounds on having someone else come in or a company come in and renovate it for you, and you just wanna take that plunge. So, I have a few weeks off from work, coming up soon, and I think it's about time that I actually did this lawn renovation myself. So these are some illustrations that I found online on a lawn leveling website. And you can see that this is quite similar to the garden that I've got now. So the lawn starts quite low at the bottom and it gets uh, higher and higher towards the top. It's like an upward incline towards the back of the lawn. And effectively what I want to do is I want to find a point along here, possibly halfway, if not maybe even two thirds of the way up uh, and actually cutting it off and having a bit of a retaining wall using some sleepers and having a top level and a bottom level. So you end up that two tier effect. So in a way, it'll end up something a little bit like this. Now, mine won't be exactly like this. I'll still have my patio at the bottom, which we may potentially change, but another thing, we'll cross that bridge and we get to it. Up at the top here, we're hoping to have a patio area round about here and still a bit of grass, but maybe even a flower bed towards the back. We'll, we'll see what we can do then having some sleepers going along um, here, just like this one is, maybe some steps in the middle. I don't think mine's gonna be m as much of a jump as this is at the moment, so we may not need as many steps. And then having this space at the bottom, which will just be completely flat and uh, perfect to seed a brand new lawn. Now, the first thing I'm gonna be doing is put some stakes in the ground, so two in the back corners, two in the front corners, and I'm gonna be working out the exact dimensions of my lawn, and I'll be able to see what is the difference between the level at the bottom of the lawn compared to the level at the top. And then I'll be able to work out where it is that I want my second tier to start and work out all the measurements from there. So I've got these stakes that I'm going to use. I'm going to put two at the back of the lawn. I'm going to put two at the front of the lawn and hopefully I'll be able to get some measurements with the exact dimensions of the lawn and also to see what the difference is between the height of the lawn at the back and the height of the lawn at the front so that we can get a good sort of 
idea of where the second tier should start. Now this turned out to be much more tricky than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, the reason being is because the stakes that he had uh, didn't seem to be the best, didn't seem to do the best job. Uh, one was slightly too short, the other one was long, but still wasn't quite long enough. And it just became a little bit of a pain trying to level things. So uh, my partner had to come out and help as well. So she was holding one end and moving it higher and lower. You can see that from the spirit level there, I was able to find a difference between the height of the lawn at the back compared to the height of the lawn at the front. Now we did the same thing on the other side as well, and this time there was a massive difference, and, and we realized that the lawn was lower at the front on one side than it was on the other, and also that same side at the back was higher than the one on the other, so it ended up being almost double the difference uh, between the front of the lawn and the back of the lawn. Now, because it was so uneven, I felt like the measurements weren't really gonna work too much. So in my head I thought, if I can mark out where the tiers are going to be. I can install the sleepers, make sure that they're level, and then level both tiers based on where those sleepers are. So at the moment, I'm just marking out where I want the first tier to be. So this part will be the part of the lawn that's going to be completely flat, and that will be the bit that is just solely turf. I measured out that it'd be four meters going back and around about 7.2 meters going across. Now I've left a gap at the sides, and the reason why I've left this gap at the sides is because what we want to do is once we've leveled both tiers is you want to put some raised flower beds using sleepers along the right hand side and the left hand side of the garden so this is the patch then that we are aiming to be the flat bit of the lawn and ideally i do want to start this lawn from scratch i want to put the topsoil down i want to level it and i want to seed it with some really high quality grass seed now this is where things got a little bit tricky because as you can see the wall is in two different directions and doesn't run parallel to the house, which means that when it comes to doing the second tier, it's going to have to have a slight angle to it at the back. Now, this isn't a problem because we can work around it and we have figured out a solution for it, but it just became a little bit more complicated than it really needed to be. Now, when you look at it in person, it doesn't look like that much of a drastic change in terms of the direction and the angle of where the wall was going. However, when it did come to measuring it, the difference was a little bit greater than originally anticipated. So we settled on this trapezium shape in the end, where it was a little bit wider on the left-hand side for the seating area and the patio, and it was a little bit thinner on the right-hand side where sort of a little bit of turf's gonna be, a flower bed's gonna be, and possibly something like a swinging chair, something like that. Um, we decided with the front, we would try and keep that as parallel to the house as possible just so then it's nice and easy to maintain and manage and something that we can continue to level as years go on so there are quite a few things i've got to consider then before it comes to actually creating these two tiers one of the things is the fact that the back of the garden isn't straight across uh, part of the wall straight which is level with the house about yay yay big in relation to the garden but the rest of the wall doesn't go straight across, it's slightly ajar like this, going towards the back corner, which means it is quite difficult because when we try and make this area flat and square with the rest, it doesn't really match up towards the back corner. Now, it's not a massive issue, but the only thing is, is this corner is the corner that gets the most sun. So we're hoping that this becomes a seating area for um, like a corner suite and a few chairs or something along those lines. Uh, so we'll come back to that bit in a moment. So at the front of the garden then, we've got a bit of grass and then the patio extends out just a touch like this. And then we've got a bit of grass there like that. So this, these patches here, I'll even take that back just a further touch. So this is gonna be the baseline we're gonna work with because this is level with the house. It's straight with the house. So we wanna keep this uh, square. Now, uh, what I did was I measured from about here and here, and the reason being is because I wanted to make sort of a rectangular shape across the center there. And this bit is gonna be the main part of having complete flat grass. So I'm gonna leave a bit of a border along the side because I'm gonna be putting uh, some raised flower beds in there. So I'm gonna come up. So this space here was about four meters by 7.2 meters. So it's four meters going up and 7.2 meters going across. Now you can see that it's straight away, it's not square with the back of the garden. So what we're thinking is we're gonna have the sleepers going along the center here. And what we'll have is the second tier here, 
going up to there. But instead of it going straight across the back like this, we're gonna put it on a bit of an angle. So this second tee is actually gonna have more of a shape to it than, well, we're seeing more of a shape, uh, a bit more of a unique shape compared to the bottom part. Because the idea is this thing will become a bit of a flower bed or some sort of plant thing at the back. We'd be able to get maybe a corner suite or something in there and maybe a parasol along the back. And then you've got space for other chairs and things. Thinking of having a set of stairs here with maybe a little bit of a pathway that leads onto this bit being a patio area. And then for the time being, we'll keep this grass and hopefully have some sort of shrubs or bushes or whatever it may be along here. But this will be completely flat. This bit here will also be completely flat and it'll also extend to be these patches of grass down at the bottom here. So my main takeaways then from this video, the job in itself seems a lot more challenging than I originally anticipated it being. Um, it's not just the slope going upwards that would be the challenge. I thought the slope was just a nice even slope going up. I didn't really think much about it before really going out and figuring out measure measurements. The At the back, the lawn seems to slope one way and at the front it seems to sort of slope the other way. It's a bit of a mess in terms of any sort of level at the moment. And I think this is because when we did lay the turf last year, we didn't do any sort of level and it was just smash up some of the clay, a little bit, almost a sprinkling of topsoil and then we just whack down the, uh, the grass itself. So the first thing I want to have to do is install the sleepers. I'm thinking if I get the sleepers in place, splitting that divide between the lower tier and the higher tier, then I'll know exactly the right level that I need to bring that second tier to. So I may need to remove some material from one place, move it to another. Uh, some places might need to be risen, some places might need to be dropped slightly. And also it'll help me as well to level that front part, which isn't as sloped as I thought it was. Um, so I may only need to take a little bit of the material off. However, I will be completely getting rid of that grass at the front, starting afresh with new seeds and a brand new base to establish a completely new lawn. So if you are interested in watching the rest of this renovation, please feel free to subscribe. Some of the progress may be slow going. It will entirely depend on whether I can get materials, having time off work and sorting things and working around that. And it is going to take a while, but hopefully over the next, let's say, month, month and a half, we should have a brand new looking garden. So, thanks for watching.